Okay, again, this is a series, should be an annotation on the screen to the full playlist, recommend watching them. This is video 12, I believe, in this series on SED. Um, we've been working with a text file here. I've also created another text file uh, for more of the upcoming ones, uh, videos, uh, just with line numbers to make it easier for you to see which lines are being removed. We're going to be playing around with both these files. Um, but uh, let's have a look at modifying, uh, uh, sorry, uh, full word match. Uh, so if I was to use said as we have been, and I want to substitute uh, a word from our text to file, let's say I wanted to substitute everywhere there was the word new with the word old. Well, if I do that, you'll notice that we do substitute where the word new is with the word old, but you'll also notice that we got older here. And maybe we don't want to modify the word newer to the word older. We want to keep that newer, just as an example. Um, well, one thing we could do is we can come in here and we can give this a space. So we can say find where it says uh, new with a space. And we can hit enter. And you can see here on um, line three, we replaced it. Of course, uh, we did remove the space after it, so we'll actually want to replace new with a space with old and a space. So that fixes that problem, but it didn't modify the new down here. Well, the reason for that is because there's no space after that. There's a new line character after that. It's the end of the line. So to fix that one, we could say, you know, find new at the end of the line because we know that um, the dollar sign means end of line, and we can replace new there with old, but that doesn't fix this one. So we could put two commands together, as I've shown you, where we can say substitute um, new space with old space, and new at the end of the line with old, and that should work, which it does. But that's getting kind of complicated, and if you have a big file, you may not know if they're at the end of the line. Maybe there isn't a space. I, there's, there's a lot of scenarios there. So what we're going to use here are regular expressions to find the bounds of a word. So what I could do instead of all this, I could just do find new. And remember, our backslash is indicating something special, in this case, b. And the same over here, new b. So we'll hit Enter. And you'll see that both the old here was replaced, the old here was replaced, uh, but the newer here and the newer here were not replaced because it's looking for a whole word match of new. Now we also have new here, uh, which wasn't replaced, and that's because um, it's capital. We should be able to, I think, put an I here, a capital I, and that did replace it. Now. Um, it did replace it with a lowercase old rather than a uppercase old, um, but that's something for another tutorial. Um, but we did replace everywhere where it has the whole word new with the whole word old um, and not replacing partial matches. So that's it. Uh, let's quickly look at the command. We got said, which is our command, and then inside our quotations we're saying let's S for substitute. Our backslash b's means bounds, meaning that what's between them is a whole match, not a partial match. And uh, we're going to replace it with this. And then we're going to say, look at it case insensitive. Don't worry whether it's capital or lowercase. And then g means globally. Do it for every instance uh, on every line. And then this is the file we're working with. And again, we haven't modified our original file. Um, we're just modifying the output. If we wanted to modify the original file, we would do the dash i. Be careful with that. That will not warn you and override the old file. And there's no undo for that. And if you want to create a new file, we can just say new file. That will put it in a new file. I can cat out the new file with the changes, but I still have the old original file. Well, that's it for this tutorial. If you have questions, before to be sure to visit my IRC channel. Comments are a great thing, but not a great place for technical questions. Be sure to like, subscribe, visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. And I hope that you have a great day. See you next week with more said.
next Monday.